does the artist have positive romantic baggage? <laughs> now, you may laugh, but this is important. Our perception of an artist's work is conditioned by his myth as an artist, as the details of his life. And if the details of the, his life, his myth, his, the events of his life, the tragedy of his life is directly reflected in a painting, then that painting goes up in value. An unhappy love affair and the, lover, the love of the artist's life being depicted is very good news, very positive, both <laughs> emotionally and commercially. Uh, muses, well, the same thing. Madness, I mean, I hate to say it, but madness is excellent news from the price <laughs> point of view. Madness, uh, if an artist can be shown to have been mad or going through a period of madness when he painted a work, then um, it's felt to be somehow imbued with something special because madness is close to creativity and uh, you know, great works of genius are produced in brainstorm conditions. Um, interestingly, illness is not nearly such good news. If an artist is recorded as having been ill when he painted something, it generally has a diminishing effect on prices because it's felt that he was not, he was not on the top of his game when he, when he painted it. Rebelliousness, yes, excellent. Dying young, the great commercial <laughs> career move because simultaneously it limits the number of works uh, out there by the artist, gives them a huge extra rarity value, and also, I mean, there are exceptions to this, but by and large, I think most late periods of artists are not as good as their earlier, mid or earlier periods, so they could usefully be excised from the records if possible. <laughs>